Hey everyone, in this video we will cover when to use a waterfall chart in Power BI. So let's start. So I've got this file open here with me and uh, we'll, we'll, I've also uploaded this file to GitHub. You can download the file and do the tutorial with me. I'll leave a link to the file in the video notes. So, uh, so when do we use a waterfall chart? And I was looking for it and I found a very, very interesting, um, so this one, the Tableau uh, visual vocabulary, which is on the Tableau site, but it says um, that waterfall chart can be useful for showing part to whole relationships where some of the components are negative. So what it essentially says is that, uh, let's say that you've got a total sales and if, you know, it could be that there are positive contributors to that total sales as well as negative contributors and waterfall ch chart is really good at depicting that. Let's start uh, and this will become uh, clearer. So I'll, I'm just gonna click on the waterfall chart with Power BI and I'll just get the sales amount. So I'll just select that and it's just giving me, um, I'm just gonna put this into focus mode. So it's just giving me the total sales amount. Uh, now let's say I break it by calendar year. So I'll just select that and it shows that the total uh, sales so far has been this much and in 2013, it was 16 million, I think, um, 6 million, 5 million and it's it's been reducing in amount. now. Um, so it does give us a part to whole relationship. Now let's say there might be some positive and negative contributors and that will become clear. I'm just gonna get the product category in. Um, so I'm gonna use, I will, I'm going to use English product category and that I'll use for breakdown. So I'm just going to drag this here. And all of a sudden it becomes clear that in 2013 the sales was this and then it became, and then it fell to a certain amount and so on and so forth. So it's, it's showing us uh, even with the negative component, what is the negative and what is the positive and so forth. So it's giving us a breakdown for those uh, amounts. And we can get rid of this if we want. And it gives us what is the total again. So you, you can put something here for breakdown, which I've used just to give you an example. So I hope you find this video useful. And uh, as uh, the visual vocabulary says as well, it just shows us a breakdown uh, as to who's contributing to totals in what ways. Like for example, you can see that here, it's a very minor amount, I'm unable to put a selection on there, but uh, accessories and clothing seem to have increased in um, value. Uh, it could probably become more clear if we tried to create a table out of this, but any case, uh, I hope you find this video useful and thanks for watching this video. Please do subscribe to my channel if you enjoy what I'm doing. Cheers, bye.